Hey, what's up? My name is PJ. Welcome to the video. In this session, I'm going to run you through my Adobe Lightroom CC Sharpening Masterclass. Hope you enjoy it. All right. So here we go. This is a photo of my friend Jordan. Jordan plays in a band called Move On Be Strong. Uh, we did some photos for them last week and we took some nice... Uh, clean natural light portraits at the end. So I thought this would be a good one for a sharpening video. I've sort of run through this stuff before in my other editing tutorials, but I think it would be really handy to go in detail into this sharpening panel here. Um, and I think it deserves a standalone video because I think a lot of people could benefit from this. I definitely think sharpening is the sort of thing, especially in Lightroom, where people just play with the sliders not really knowing what they mean. So um, anyway, here we go. Let's go into it in depth. So this is what it looks like, not sharpened. Okay, have a look at, particularly at the finer details, the hairs, the eyes, the um, facial hair here. It's actually a pretty big difference. It's subtle, but it's a very important difference at the same time. So yeah, especially you can see in the, in the eyebrow hairs here, in the... Um, little stubble on the face and the eyes definitely makes a big difference um, so let's stick these all oops let's make these all zero and we'll start from scratch okay so the first thing that I'll say is all of these sliders as you click them they have this bonus function function where you can add like an overlay to help you um, to help you process them in a more detailed way. So if you hold down option, option and you click it, you get this black and white overlay um, purely because I think it helps you see the contrast between the pixels more. And that's basically what sharpening is. It's the contrast between pixels. It's kind of the way that the pixels interact with each other. The um, We'll get into that now basically, but it's, yeah, it's contrast. It's fine contrast. So this first slider here the amount slider is just a general it's the degree to which you're adding or subtracting sharpening to your whole photo it's sort of like a, a broad um, generalized approach to sharpening so you'll see if I pump this right up it's just putting some sharpening in across the board so if I hold down option you can probably see as well in black and white yeah, it's just broad, general, across the board sharpening. It's the amount to which you're going to apply the next few sliders. So let's put it somewhere around halfway. That'll be fine for now. Next one is the radius. Radius is an interesting one. It's basically the distance from the center of the pixel that you want the sharpening applied. So you can make it very fine for... Um, fine textures and details you you would keep the radius low in that point um, if you want to make it if you want to sharpen around the pixels and make it very very defined very structured then you would have the radius higher so let's have a look at that so if I bump up the radius here you'll see the overlay I'm holding down option um, you'll see around the pixels you can see the sharpening is applied so Oops, that's not a good one. You can kind of see it just adds more presence, more structure to the photo. Um, personally, I like to have the radius down kind of low as I think, depending on what you do with the rest of the sliders, it starts to get a little more dirty. It starts to get a little more gritty. But um, now you know, it's the distance from the pixel that you want the sharpening to be. And you can see that in the overlay, you can see the um, the black and the gray areas. If I have it down here, it's very fine. You can see the hairs coming through there. It's, it's a very, yeah, it's close to the pixel, a fine detail. If you have it up, you can see it sort of, it gets a bit more gritty and dirty as the sharpening extends around the pixel. So I would probably have it around, somewhere around there, maybe a third of the way across. That's where I like it for skin. All right, the next one is detail. Detail sounds obvious, um, but it really focuses on the fine textures. It really focuses on the 
detail on a micro level. So where radius is the structure and the uh, the distance from the pixel, sharpening is all about those really fine textures and it's, it's probably my favorite part of the sharpening, my second favorite part of the sharpening panel um, because I really like my photos to be clean as well as sharp. There's no point being sharp if it adds noise and um, it looks dirty and I don't know, just I don't like it to be too gritty or grungy. I like it to be um, clean, sort of light feeling, but detailed at the same time. So that's where the detail slider comes in. Hold down option and you can see those that fine contrast, that micro contrast coming through. So let's see what that does to it. That's really sharp now. So yeah, I definitely like that one. The thing about the detail slider is because it's the fine details, the fine contrast between the pixels, if you if there's any noise in the photo, it's gonna bring it right out. So I generally like to have that one somewhere around halfway as well. I think that's a pretty natural level. You can see how sharp that is. That's really good so far, I'm happy with that one. Okay, so the last part of the sharpening panel here is the masking. The masking is my favorite feature. I wish I wish every panel had this sort of feature, particularly um, noise reduction. I wish there was a masking feature for that as well. So what the masking does is, again, hold down option and then it'll give you the overlay to help you understand it. Click it and you can see it turns to this black and white overlay. So basically, as you slide it along, it reduces the amount of white in the image. In the image. The black areas, uh, it's a mask. It's like a layer mask in Photoshop. So the white areas are the, the bits that are sharpened. The black areas are the clean ones. Um, so you'll notice in this photo, a lot of it is smooth. You know, the skin is pretty smooth, the t-shirt, the background here, there's, it's sort of nicely out of focus. You don't want to sharpen those bits of the photo because that's going to add noise and that's going to add just visual clutter. It's going to become dirtier, um, grimier. You don't really want to do that to a natural light portrait. Or maybe you do, I don't know, but personally I don't. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down your option key. Oops. Hold down option and you're going to mask it out until you've got only the edges. So only the parts of the photo that you want to sharpen. For example, important part is the eyes, the hair, the sort of details in the jacket. So all the in-focus areas that you want to draw attention to, that uh, you want to be sharp, you want to make sure you've got those involved. So you can see here, let's zoom in, you can see the eyes are sharp, all the details in the sort of the nostrils, the lips, the eyebrows. We've also got sort of the fine details in the jacket nicely sharpened, but you know, the middle of the t-shirt all around, these sort of bits here, the sharpens taken out so there's no noise, um, no unwanted contrast and your photo is as clean as possible. So let's see what the result is. So that's no sharpening and that's with the sharpening. No sharpening, and that's added sharpening. Let's, let's bump it up even more just for the sake of the video, just to see it in the video because I'm not sure if it always comes across really well in uh, on the on the YouTube screen so this is without and this is with so obviously yeah I mentioned at the start the eyebrows the eyes the stubble these are all really important bits the bits that you want to emphasize draw attention to and you can see these lighter bits of the photo still very very smooth so there it is, the Big Pants Photo Sharpening Masterclass. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you learned something, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.